Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are starting our series on grappling with graphics. We are going to start with embedding graphics, in other words, adding graphics to your file. Now, in Finale, on your main palette, the graphics tool is the very last tool, all the way on the right here for me. Now, before I get into this, I just want to temper your expectations with this tool. The graphics tool is extremely rudimentary in Finale. There's not a whole lot it can do. There's it's a lot of bugs actually with it and weird things that just you'd think it should do, but it just can't. Um, so my best advice is if you have any graphic editing that you need to do, make sure that you do it outside of Finale in some graphic editing program. Do everything you need to do and then bring it into Finale. Do not expect Finale to have any great manipulations or, or you know things you can do with your graphics. It just doesn't. It's a very, very simple tool. Basically, you can add graphics and you can export things from, in, from Finale as graphics. Like That's the extent of it with you know a few things here and there that you should know about. So let's start embedding graphics. We're going to add some graphics. When you choose the graphics tool, you're going to get the graphics menu. And at the bottom, you're going to have two options. It's either assigned to measure or assigned to page. Very similar to the text tool. If you're familiar with the text tool, a lot of this information is going to um, uh, be very familiar to you. So let's start with assigned to measure, right? And we're going to do just that. We're going to assign the graphics to the measure. In other words, attach them to the measure. And there's a couple ways you can do this. You can do it with the graphics menu. You can choose the third option here called uh, place graphics graphics and when you do that you'll get your window your graphic chooser and basically you just find the graphic that you want to add let's go into my instruments folder here and add this little flute graphic and you click open and your cursor will change you'll get this sort of looking weird looking thing here and then you just click basically on the measure where you want to add it I'll add it to that first measure of flute and there you go, you'll see your flute gets added. Uh, let me just undo. The other way to add graphics is, again, make sure that assigned to measure is uh, checked there. And then you get that cursor with the arrow and just make sure that your cursor is pointing in the right direction, This in this case towards the flute part, and double click. And again, you'll get that same chooser. And again, we can just choose the same uh, graphic here, my, my flute JPG here. There we go. Now, before I get any further, I, I should point out that uh, there are certain uh, graphic formats that can be added. TIFF, JPEG, PDF, PNG, BMP, GIF, and for Windows only, WMF. The one notable exception here is SVG. Um, Finale does not let you uh, embed uh, vector graphics, which um, for some people that's actually a pretty big deal. It's kind of unfortunate that you can't use vector graphics within Finale. But anyway, that's the list of graphics that are available to be imported. It doesn't show you that anywhere within the software, but you know that's, that's what's uh, available. Now, once your graphic's here, you'll note that you have all these handles and everything, right? And just as you would expect, you can actually resize everything. Um, and without holding anything, you'll note that you can actually go ahead and stretch these in weird ways. So if I can do that, you see I can distort it uh, vastly like that or distort it like that. So it's all kinds of weird if I just undo. Just like with other things in Finale, if you hold down the shift key and, and drag one of those corners, you will constrain it in a certain way. And in this case, you're constraining it to uh, keep its proportionality. So that's actually really important if you are going to be uh, adjusting these graphics. Uh, you definitely want to hold down shift so that you can retain the proportionality. In this case, I'm going to um, scale it down all the way to about that size. And you know, we'll just do something clever here. Uh, of course, once you have it there, you can grab it and move it. I'm just going to put it over here and uh, replace my uh, flute staff label. So <laughs> if you want to do something silly like that, you certainly can. Now, the, uh, another thing you need to be aware of is whether or not your graphic has uh, is opaque or has a clear background or transparent background. So I have two different types of graphics here. So if I choose my oboe here, my JPG, this is an opaque background. Uh, let me just resize this a little bit. There we go. I'm make it that big. Um, but I also have these other uh, graphics from Logic. These are the uh, actual um, icons in Logic. I'm going to choose the oboe here. And you note that this graphic is actually uh, has a transparent background, so you can actually see through it. Um, you know, so that's kind of cool that you have that option. Just be aware of what that does. And of course, if I put that over there, you'll see the text through that. So um, yeah, so just be aware of whether or not your graphic has a background or not. Now. You may have noticed something strange with this graphic right here. Um, you'll see that these uh, hole rests are kind of like shining through the graphic here, but not on the first measure. 
This is sort of a long-standing kind of issue, bug-ish kind of thing with Finale. It has to do with the way that Finale layers graphics and the fact that you basically have no control over how Finale layers graphics. And of course, everything in Finale is a graphic, essentially. What's interesting is that what's happening here is that the graphic, because it's attached to the first measure of the oboe, um, it is going to hide everything uh, in that uh, first measure, but it spills out into the other measures, and you can see that it doesn't hide everything. And these whole rests are notorious for being, you know, just in the way all the time. So this is just something to watch out for. There's literally nothing you can do short of, you know, of course you can just add a, a rest there and, and actually hide it. Then of course it'll go away. But um, you know, that's sort of the the nature of of, of these things in Finale. This graphics tool. Uh, is one of those things you just have to be aware of that so but anyway so that's what that is let me just go ahead and rescale that and put that here now I can of course do that for all of my other icons but I don't think you need to watch me do that the other interesting thing I you know I was talking about layering is that uh, you have no control over the how the finale layers these graphics um, and when they start overlapping each other, there's actually no way to get that flute, for example, to go on top of the oboe. I can select it, and it kind of looks like it's now on top of it. But uh, when I do a redraw, you'll see that you know the, the oboe goes on top. There's no option here to you know bring graphic to front or push a certain graphic to the to the back, which you'd find in a lot of other graphic programs. It just doesn't exist in Finale. Um, the way that Finale does this is that the last graphic added goes on top. Um, unfortunately, there's just there's just no control with that. Now, this is sort of a silly example here, but maybe a slightly more practical one would I have this playback staff here and I created these uh, waveform graphics. So you can do something clever like this uh, if you have a, a playback um, track that goes along with your orchestration. You can kind of get this. And in this case, I'm not holding shift because I don't care if this gets um, not proportional. I actually want it to stretch as I need it to. So there's waveform one. I'll just put in waveform two. And again, as you watch me do this, you'll start to see some weird things. Like, I don't know what, I have no idea. I just, I'm gonna delete it. Again, this this uh, graphics tool is a little bit buggy in Finale. Um, I don't have answers for that. It's just <laughs> it's just buggy. Let's add the third one. Stretch that out there. Get it in place. Yeah. So you can see that you know you can do some clever things like this. If you can imagine some other uses here, maybe you have some uh, wave type graphics that you want to use for your harp part to indicate a certain way of doing, um, uh, you know, glissando or something, you can kind of see the value of this. Now, what I do want to point out about using the graphics tool in this way where you're assigning to the measures, um, the problem with these graphics is that they're attached to a single point, and that happens to be the upper left corner. So uh, the attachment point is right here where my mouse is, uh, but that means that they will not stretch which is unfortunate because you know once you start adding you know notes here and the measures get wider they get narrower or even if you just move one measure to the next system you'll see that the graphics will not stretch to fill out the measure right again it's sort of fixed at this point it's fixed to this point um, it will not stretch so uh, this is sort of depending on how you're using these graphics this could be a problem again you wouldn't want that to happen to these graphics over here because you'd want that those to remain the same no matter how wide this measure is but in some cases like this is a sample where you might actually want it to stretch interestingly there's a different way to add graphics in finale I'm just gonna sort of do this really quickly as an expression if I created this graphic earlier within the technique text, and I'm just gonna show you what this is. This is actually a shape expression. And if I go and edit this into the shape designer, there is a graphics tool here, which allows you to add graphics within the shape designer. Then if you use that shape within the expression designer here as a shape expression with this option checked, allow horizontal stretching, this will behave differently than the graphics that are attached with the graphics tool attached to a measure. So now I've added this actually as an expression. And even as an expression, you can still reshape this within the score just by double clicking that handle. You can actually reshape this here. And uh, let me just, yeah. So then you'll see that um, once you do that, now this graphic will now stretch. So I can actually you know, push these two measures down to the next system and you'll see that graphic stretch, or I can actually add another measure here and you'll see it shrink. So 
there is a difference between using the graphics um, from the expression and having that uh, horizontal stretch or adding it from the graphics tool, assigning it to measure like this. Again, uh, these type of graphics assigned with a graphics tool will not stretch. Again, one may be desirable over the other depending on the context. So just be aware that that's possible. And just in case you're wondering, everything you've seen me do with these graphics, that's it. You cannot do anything else. You cannot crop graphics. You cannot rotate graphics. You cannot recolor graphics. Literally, you can resize them. You can stretch them with those uh, six, <laughs> six handles here. That is it. That is the extent of graphic editing within Finale. Now, let's just briefly talk about uh, graphics in terms of linked parts, right? So I've attached this uh, graphic to the playback staff. I do actually have a playback linked part just for the heck of it to show you this, to point out a couple things that you can actually move these, right, in the uh, linked part. And just as you would with any other item in Finale, when you do that within the linked part, it gets unlinked. And if we go back to the score, you'll see that it remains in its original position there but back in the part, it's uh, kind of moved away. Um, we can kind of go there or we can, you know, right click it and relink it to score and it'll put it back in place. What's interesting is that, you know, again, with these graphics, you can kind of stretch them and everything. But if I stretch this graphic in the linked part, it doesn't unlink from the score. So let me just do this in an extreme way. You know, I'll make that really, really short there. And you'll see that it's really, really short in the score as well. So whatever changes you make, in the score in the part as far as stretching is concerned will also be made in the score which is a little strange you'd think that it, you it wouldn't do that however it still works if when you're in the graphics tool and you're in the score if you right click or control click to get the contextual menu and you choose the unlink in all parts option now finale has unlinked this now you can go back to that part and you can actually stretch this as much as you need to and back in the score it will retain its shape. This is a weird behavior. It's kind of a bug in my opinion because doing anything in the part should unlink it from the score. But oddly enough, only moving the position in the parts unlinks it. You have to actually manually unlink it here uh, to, uh, to, to be able to stretch it differently in the parts. Makes sense. And of course, you do have the option, just like uh, other items in Finale, to relink in all parts. And again, once you do that, it will go back to normal. You can also hide and show uh, these graphics like any you know anything else in Finale. So within the part, if you right click and just uh, deselect show, it will hide. But then back in the score, it will still show. Um, you'll always get this little like uh, frame around it because you know Finale handles unlinked items differently with the graphics tool. It doesn't turn them orange. Uh, so they had to, I guess they had to figure out some way to indicate that it's still there. So you get that little frame, but it won't print. That frame will not print. Uh, of course, we can always just relink to score and it will show. And of course, you can go to oops, go back to the score. And if you wanted to hide it in the score, but show it in the part again, just unlink and then choose uh, uncheck show. And it should show in the part. There you go. Um, so, yeah, so showing, hiding, all that stuff, it all works the same. Let's just show that again and just relink everything. All right. So that is basically uh, attaching graphics to measures. All right, so let's just talk about attaching graphics to the page instead of to measure. So all we have to do is go back up into the graphics menu and where it says assign to measure, just choose assign to page. Again, very similar to the text menu. And then it works exactly the same. You can choose to place graphic and do the same thing. Choose your graphic and click or with uh, assign to page selected, just double click somewhere and you can choose the graphic that you want. Let's go ahead and add my Conquering Finale logo here and just open that up and you'll see it there. And all of this stuff works the same way. You can resize it, um, you know, again, holding shift here. Uh, you can put it in place. Actually, you know what, let's go ahead and delete the text there and actually just move this into place, all right? Um, so you can actually embed a graphic attached to the page like this. Now, when you do add a graphic attached to the page, you do get some extra options in the graphics menu. Uh, here you have the alignment options are now available. Again, these are very similar to the text alignment options from the text tool. If I were to go select one of these measure attached graphics, you'll note that the alignment options are all grayed out. But for a page attached graphic, you have the options to do this. And this works very similarly. You, uh, and you know, the trick is you wanna make sure that it's sort of aligned closest to where it is. Now this is in the upper right, 
but uh, I've you know had this set up as the top left. So just choose you know right, and these do have shortcuts here, um, and I'll hopefully put up the uh, window shortcuts as well. But it's on a Mac, it's Command Shift left bracket for left, uh, quote single quote for center, right bracket for right, uh, backslash for top, equals for uh, center, and minus for bottom. Those are the shortcuts here. So let's choose right, and let's choose uh, top. And that should put it right against the top. And of course, you do have the options for whether or not it's positioned from the page edge or from the page margin, right? Very similar to the text tool. So once you get it relatively where you want it, then you can you know, adjust it a little bit as needed and you're good to go. What's interesting about these page attached graphics, if I just make this a, a whole lot larger here, um, the difference between these and the measure attached graphics is that these will actually cover up everything. So it's a little bit hard because I have this as black, but um, I can assure you that the, the whole uh, rests are not gonna show through that little white text there. So um, <laughs> again, it's just one of those things, the layering is different between the uh, the page attached and the uh, measure attached. The page attached attached graphics will definitely hide everything. However, the layering still exists the same. So if I add another page attached graphic, it's the same deal. I can't choose which one's on top. The last assigned graphic will always go on top. There's nothing you can do about that. And interestingly, with these page attached graphics, the uh, linking and unlinking is a little bit more predictable, is a little bit more what you're used to. If I go to my flute part, again, you can move it and it will be unlinked, but you can also um, uh, shrink it in the linked part and it will not shrink in the score. Again, that's different than how it uh, behaves when they are attached to the measure. Again, this is just sort of a weird little bug in, in my opinion, um, but the linking and unlinking procedures for page attached graphics are a little bit more predictable. And of course, you still have the same options as before. You can show, you can do the unlink and relink, all that stuff is exactly the same uh, between page attached and measure attached graphics. So. So there you go. So that is basically embedding graphics or adding graphics to files. Uh, in the next video, we're actually going to look at this edit graphic attributes window. Again, very similar to the text attribute window that you may be familiar with, with just a couple different uh, ideas here. So we'll go through all of this once again and talk about that in the next video. All right, so that's all there is to it. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Jason. As always, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you soon on the next video.